if you guys are looking to buy sports cards, basketball cards, football cards, baseball cards, comic books, memorabilia, do what I do. Use the Fanatics Marketplace. Just make sure you use the affiliate link that's located in this YouTube description at the very top or the QR code that's attached. Hey guys, Brian with the Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. I thought about doing this all in one video, but I'm gonna end up making it two videos. And um, and look, I'll just get this out here. You guys know I'm as truthful and honest as possible. These videos are just about making you guys aware of uh, some cards, <coughs> excuse me, that I have available for sale in the currently running uh, Fanatics Weekly Auction number 137. I'm gonna do a video today with uh, one, two, three, how many cards do I have here? Um, uh, seven cards, little cards, uh, but some Jordan cards, some hierarchy cards, some cool stuff. So I'm gonna do this video with these seven cards that are for sale that end in three days. These cards end Sunday evening on Fanatics uh, Collect Weekly Auction number 137. Remember, if you're buying, there's a Cajun Cardboard affiliate link in this YouTube description. If you guys would be so kind as to click that link, if you do decide to bid on some of these cards, put some of these Cajun Cardboard uh, Michael Jordan cards and other cards into your collection, I would be most appreciative. Again, it doesn't cost you any extra money, it's just one extra step. So it's me asking you to do me a favor to help support the Cajun Cardboard channel and to make me look good for my affiliate partners at Fanatics. Okay, let's look at these seven cards, but I do wanna make you aware Another video is going to release tonight on Thursday with a preview. I've got some big boy cards, <laughs> some of the biggest of the big, some of the biggest Jordan cards in the world going for sale on Fanatics Weekly Auction number 138, <coughs> which starts tonight on August 29th and ends next Sunday, right? Uh, whatever that date is, first week of September. So. This video is going to be about seven cards that I have for sale in a couple of days. The next video is going to be about 31 cards that go live tonight on Fanatic Weekly Auction number 138. Again, if you're going to bid on any of those 31, and these are some big boy cards. There's uh, 28 Jim Mint Michael Jordans. No, I'm not getting out of the Michael Jordans. I'm not liquidating my Michael Jordan collection. <coughs> I'm doing what? I'm sorry, I just ate a bunch of Gardettos, and <coughs> for some reason, they're not going down well. It's the kind of stuff that happens when you're 50. Uh, <clears throat> I am not getting out of the Michael Jordan stuff. I'm taking a step sort of sideways and slightly back so I could take a much bigger step forward into some of the rarer Michael Jordan cards that I have prioritized for my own personal collection and how I'm looking to collect. So, no, I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm not moving my money into Whitman Yama or uh, Babe Ruth or Mickey Mantle or Gretzky or anything. I am selling Jordans to buy Jordans. And yes, I do need to pay some bills, real world bills as a father of seven kids and a Wife and uh, and uh, you guys know what automobile and home insurance is doing lately, but I've got a little project at the house, so I am trying to pay some bills, reallocate some of the money within the Michael Jordan market. So that's what's going on. We'll talk more about that as we get closer to that one. So two videos coming out tonight, this little one and then that long one. Uh, here we go. All right, we're going to look at all seven of these cards, but it's going to be super quick, guys. Nothing's crazy special here. Here they are. As a Fanatics Collect Vault member, all I did was go click, 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 move them over into weekly 137. It took me 15 seconds. Fanatics does the rest. They list it. They obviously take much better pictures than I can take. <clears throat> so we'll just kind of start at the top. These are sorted in order. This card is obviously woefully undervalued at the moment. Uh, and I probably should have had this pulled up already. But uh, this is the Topps Apparitions PSA 8. As you guys know, if you've watched my mail days, I picked up a PSA 9 copy. So what that means is I'm going to diffuse and sort of uh, defray some of my entry cost on the PSA 9 by letting go of my PSA 8. I'm in a position where I'm trying to recycle that money to push more and more into the Jordan cards I don't have. So I'm not trying to stack cards, although I do think this Apparitions would be a very nice uh, card to have long term. But uh, you guys can see I'm not really prepared on this one. But let's put in Jordan Apparitions PSA 8. There you go. So this is sorted by price. Let's go back to date sold. Uh, so the last one that sold was the highest price ever paid. So if you guys could just go ahead and pay that price, that'd be great. No, I'm just kidding. So here's uh, here's what they've been selling for lately. Sorted by date, on card ladder, sales history, PSA 8s, 461, 425, 340, 340, 346, 376, 420, 400. So it gives you some idea of what kind of card you're looking at. Look what it's at. Nine bids, but it's only at 150. Now look, I'm not panicking here. I know my people at Fanatics are going to do their job. I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. You can 
pop in there, put in a 350, maybe you steal the card. I have no idea, uh, but just make sure you use the affiliate link. I'm going to keep saying that. I know that's obnoxious. Uh, so the Topps Apparitions PSA 8, is really, it really is just an awesome Jordan card. I was thrilled to get a PSA 9 because guess how many... There's two PSA 10s, and my fingers on that. There's my fingers. Two. There's two PSA 10s. There's like 92 PSA 9s, and then come the PSA 8s that are very affordable, 350, 450, whatever the number is that you guys end up paying. Here's the back of the card. The back of the card's awesome, and that's usually where you get your issue, right? And so even though it's my card, I'll show you. I think this is where the 8 comes from. It's going to be this top right edge right there, guys. Those edges are real tough on these apparitions. And so that's kind of where the problem arises. But if you just look at the front, the front looks great. Maybe a little whitening on the top left up there, as you can see. But otherwise, what a card, right? What a just a really cool looking card that is. That's actually the floor, a basketball floor in the background. It's almost like these microwave heat waves coming off of them in the, uh, in the background. All right, that's enough on one card. That's the biggest card in here. Well, maybe not. Now, this Garnett card's a pretty big card. So... Uh, let's get out of the Jordan world. Let's let's kind of speak to some of you other uh, '90s collectors out there: the Garnets, the Iversons, the Ke you know the Tim Duncans, the Kobe's, uh, the Vince Carter's, the Ray Allen's, the Dirks, and stuff like that. And let's go KG. How cool are the Intimidation Nations, right? You guys know these are uh, tier two cards on the hierarchy. This 1998 Skybox Premium Intimidation Nation Kevin Garnett PSA nine. It's at 80 bucks. I have no idea what this card's worth. I guess we can look that up too. Let's go uh, PSA nine. Garnett uh, Intimidation Nation. And so you guys, I'm as transparent as you can see. So if, if Fanatics doesn't do their job, and I don't give enough eyeballs, and this card sells for $125, well, you know what? That's on me. I'll own it. You know, you take the good with the bad. I'm not here just to kind of pump rainbows and sunshine about Fanatics. I'm an affiliate partner. I hope it does well. Uh, obviously, I will always let you guys know if any of my Fanatics auction cards don't get paid. Uh, it, has it happened in the past? Yeah, and I, but I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating, y'all. I've probably sold close to a 1,000 cards on Fanatics uh, slash PWCC before they turned to Fanatics uh, on their weekly auctions over the last you know year. Easily a 1,000 cards. Easily a 1,000 cards. And maybe... I don't know, less than 10 have not been paid for. Probably probably eight have not been paid for out of a thousand cards. And so for all of the, you know, conspiracy theorists out there who think every time a card sells for a good price, it's shilled. Not in my experience. I can't speak for everybody's cards, and I can't say what the overall uh, non-paying rate is on Fanatics or eBay or Golden or wherever, my, you know, anywhere else. Uh, all I can tell you is in my experience, it is a very, very low number of cards that don't get paid, which is part of the reason I keep selling my cards using the promo code Cajun on Fanatics. And so uh, 375 is where the last one sold way down from 720 uh, in May. So 675, 720, 375. That's for a PSA 9 copy, uh, which is what you're looking at right here. Uh, another card. This one also, for those of you who watch the channel, came from the Cross Country Collection and uh, I decided to get it graded and it graded really well. Graded PSA 9. So big card right there. I love that card. Uh, I just don't collect Garnett and so I'm churning and burning, right? I'm going to take that money and put it into a Jordan that I don't have in Tier 4. Hopefully. That's the plan. Uh, same story here with the apparitions. Uh, for those of you who don't recall, uh, this is also a hierarchy card. So do your research, guys. If you've got your posters, go find it on your poster. It's a Tier 4 hierarchy card. This is the 90 Skybox Prototype number 41. Um, this card is uh, uh, super affordable in PSA 8. I paid a little pretty penny, picked up a PSA 9 copy. I think this PSA 8 is worth uh, somewhere around 200, 250 bucks. I'm, I'm completely guessing on that uh, Skybox Prototype. Hi. What is going to come out? What is this going to spit out? 200. Yeah, okay, so there you go. So, you know, 198, 184, 225, 199. So, you guys know you're looking at something like that. What's it at right now? It's at 72 bucks. So, go put a bid in there. Go check it out. That's card number four. Card number three, sorry. Card number four is this LeBron James Prism Fireworks PSA 10. It's probably a $30 card. I have no idea. Maybe it's worth more. Maybe it's worth less. But I think these. Uh, early year prism inserts are a little more rare than people realize. I don't think that's a huge pop card right there, and it's a really good image. Again, they do have the silver and the gold and the green, and I think maybe some other colors. Uh, this is just the base parallel. 
So, again, I have a LeBron collection. I know people think I'm always pooping on LeBron. I'm not. I, I, I have a LeBron collection. I'm going to do a video on his cards, similar to the one I did on Kobe, just to kind of satiate and appease the masses. Um, I'm actually looking to reinvest a little bit of this money from Weekly 138, which should be a pretty sizable chunk of money when you guys see the cards that I'm selling, not in this one, but in the next one. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a nice war chest of funds. I'm going to be able to do some fun stuff, and you guys are going to see some really, really good mail days in the near future. I'm actually looking to allocate a portion of that into the LeBron stuff because I think LeBron stuff has fallen just too much. And so I'll be buying some sneaky little LeBron cards and I'll share them with you guys in mail days, of course. Here's another one. It's a silver all day PSA 10. Just a little insert. It's probably $30, $40, $50 card. I have no idea uh, what it's worth. Hell, it may sell for $11. It's, it's at $12 right now or something like that. A Damian Lillard base rookie. Uh, again, I have a pretty sizable Damian Lillard rookie card collection. I own this card with a black label, um, it, so it, you know it's like why carry a PSA 10 and a black label BGS 10? It doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna let this base copy go. This is a card that's been on a you know a doozy of a ride. <coughs> and then lastly, <laughs> please don't judge. <laughs> Literally, do not judge me on this. Guys, I own one baseball card, but not for long. In 72 hours, I will not own a single baseball card, uh, excluding a couple of Jordan Birmingham Barons cards that I've got, right? But this is the only baseball card that I have bought in the last 25, 30, wait, 30, probably 35 two years. I have not bought a baseball card since 1992, except for this one. I bought this card, and then I'm not lying to you, like within 30 days, this guy raped a kid, or I can't even remember what he did. He beat a girl, or he raped a girl, or his girlfriend was 11, or something crazy. I was like, Wander Franco or Acuna. It was back when it was like, those two guys were, were the guys. Everybody was talking about these two guys. It was before the Otani craze and all that. Wander Franco, Acuna. Wander Franco, Acuna. And I was like, I don't, I don't know anything about baseball, but you know, one of my buddies is like, you should pick up a baseball card so you have a reason to watch it this year and I was like all right give me give me this Wonder Franco and I bought it and I think I paid like almost five thousand dollars for it it's at seven dollars right now this is going to be an ass whipping like nobody's ever seen I'm taking a bath on that bad boy but if you guys could uh could uh, consider using the affiliate link that's in the YouTube description if you're interested in any of these cards again we got two hierarchy Jordans right there we got a nice Lillard rookie we got the KG uh Intimidation Nation which would be a good pickup for those KG collectors out there in fact I should have checked this out let me uh let me check out Garnett Intimidation PSA uh, let's go see what the pop is on that PSA 9. Yeah, it's a pop three with two tens out there. So if you're a set collector, that's a pretty good pickup. If you're a Garnett collector, good luck getting the 10 out of the hands of the other Garnett collectors. This is probably the best you're going to do. So that's it, guys. Nothing huge this week. I will give you a little glimpse. I'm doing this video uh, later tonight. These are my cards uh, scrolling from the bottom to the top. Stay tuned. This video that you're watching now should lead right into another much bigger, much more relevant preview video of these 31 Michael Jordan cards. 28 are graded Jim Mint. So out of the 31 Jordan cards, 28 are graded Jim Mint, and there will be another separate video showing these cards um, for you guys, Jim Mint, Jim Mint EXL, Jim Mint Bowman's Best Rookie, Jim Mint Rookie Air Promo, The Emotion, a members only, 1993 Stadium Club Jim Mint, Fanimation, Fanimation, Tens and Tens, another members only from the original, the 1992 Stadium Club with Jordan yakking right on the back of uh, the unwary Patrick Ewing, the Canadian Mini PSA 10. Good luck finding one of those. Uh, this one right here is super, super rare. It's Pop 9. But PSA 10 cards like a billion dollars. This BGS 9.5 might cross. I don't know. The centering looks awesome to me. This is his starting lineup dribbling, which if you guys collect starting lineup, you know this is a tough ass card to gym. Uh, here's the just the base 1990 skybox number 41. Uh, another starting lineup, the Brown with Jordan Duncan, PSA 10. This Bulls Equal card's really rare. Uh, another starting lineup, Jim, right here. Yes, I've gotten out of my starting lineup. And then this is Murderer's Row. Really, it's just two. The 88 Fleer, PSA 10. I've just decided to move some of my Jordan base cards so I can push harder into uh, the, the Michael Jordan hierarchy cards in Tier 1 and Tier 2. So just looking to cash out on some of the base, some of the high-end base. I mean, some of these base cards 
are pretty expensive in PSA 10. So I'm looking to cash out of that, reinvest that money into some of the tier two cards that I don't have yet, uh, which I am looking for and not necessarily in PSA 10. In fact, I'm not looking for them in PSA 10. I'm probably looking for them in PSA 8, 9 or BGS 9.5. Uh, and then the two monsters here, guys. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to do a whole separate video on this, but the 86 Fleer sticker PSA 10 and the 86 Fleer rookie PSA 10 with an eye appeal sticker. And this is not your ordinary 86 Fleer. Like I do expect this card to uh, to do well over 200,000. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm naive. I have, as I like to say, I have a dog in this hunt. It's my card. I think it's more special than the average 86 Fleer PSA 10. Uh, there's whatever, 325 of them out there, and this is unquestionably uh, in the top 25% in my personal opinion. It does have a 30% eye appeal sticker on it, uh, but uh, I think this one is unique and special, and the centering is absolutely impeccably perfect, period. We'll look at it a little bit closer on uh, the next video that I'm going to put out with a preview of these 31 cards. I will tell you this, again, that's weekly auction number 138. If you scroll down, look guys, you'll see right here, I actually have my own filter. Filter. So they gave me a Cajun cardboard filter, uh, and when you click that, you'll see just my 31 cards. Uh, I will have a uh, Fanatics affiliate link in this video, in every single video you see, where if you go into my YouTube description and click that link, a little chunk of your purchase price will go to support the Cajun Cardboard channel so I can keep being uh, the most consistent basketball card content creator in the hobby. Uh, guys, I just recently went over 100,000 views a month. I set a goal uh, when I walked into the National in Cleveland. My goal was uh, in one year, I was at 41,000 views a month on the Cajun Cardboard channel. My goal was to become more consistent, uh, to start using more shorts and reels to drive traffic and to provide people with little snippets bits of entertainment because I know not everybody likes to listen to me talk for an hour. Uh, so I started to do some consistent reels, some consistent shorts, be a little more consistent on Instagram and start to monetize the channel so I can kind of transition into doing this. I would love to do this full time one day in the future. I'm not there yet, obviously. I got a lot of mouths to feed uh, and a lot of meat left on the bone as far as paying bills and mortgages and taking care of kids and tuition and food and all that stuff. So uh, I'm not there yet, but I'm starting that transition period and starting to monetize in a couple of different ways for some affiliate partners. But getting back to what I was saying was I walked in with Cajun Jr. to the Cleveland National. We drove up there. I'm walking in and I was like, you know what? I'm at 41,000 views a month. Our goal should be to hit 100,000 views a month by next national in Chicago. By next July 2025, I want to be at 100,000 views a month. I want to become a player. I want to be a player in the content creation market, and I want to do it the right, transparent, organic way. I don't buy clicks. I don't buy views. I don't buy subs. I don't buy followers or any of that crap. I don't do all that crap. Uh, and I don't really spend money to invest or promote or boost or do any of that. I just want to do it the right way with just in, in, you know, a deluge of quality, transparent, truthful, entertaining, educational content. And I did it in 30 days. So I'm at 100,000 views a month in 30 days. Um, and uh, I'll... I don't know if y'all could tell, I'm actually really proud of that because I decided I was going to work a little bit harder and see what comes out of it. And, um, you know, the response from you guys has been overwhelmingly positive and, uh, and I can't tell you enough. I posted this on Instagram. I truly appreciate all of you guys who have taken the time to, you know, watch, like, subscribe, comment back and forth with me, right? That's my outlet and in, in, you know, in the hobby. My source of education is your comments on my videos. I can't tell you how much I've learned from that. You bought t-shirts, you've bought hierarchy posters, you've donated through the PayPal link that's in the YouTube description. You guys have used the Fanatics Collect weekly, um, you know, submission for selling using the promo code. Some of you guys go into my YouTube description and actually go out of your way to click the affiliate link before you bid on the cards on Fanatics Weekly. And I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate the support that you guys have given me. Wouldn't be here, wouldn't be growing, wouldn't feel this overwhelmingly positive momentum that I feel right now. Car prices are ticking up. Not just Jordan, Kobe, Jordan, LeBron, Curry, Durant. Go down the list. Card prices are ticking up. And it's a lot more fun to do content when people are supporting you and providing positive feedback and when card prices are going up. So I'm in a good place right now and you guys are the sole reason for it, that and a lot of hard work. So thank you guys again for helping me hit that goal uh, about 335 days faster than expected. Um, and uh, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby. Stay tuned for another video of these 31 cards. We'll look at them in a little more detail, look at some data.
data on that as well. And uh, and peace.